All right, so we've got this to be triggered whenever the list is updated. Now let's actually send this uh, Ajax file some data. So I'll hop back over to js.php and something nice about this widget is it basically comes pre-built with <laughs> pretty much everything we need. So what we need to do is we're going to create a variable and it's going to be within this update event here. So we're going to do var and we're going to call this order equals and this is going to hold the new order of the list. So we're going to get to see what uh, what jQuery is really doing here, what what information it's taking. So we're going to do this here. We're going to need a selector. So we need to tell it what we're getting this from. And it's going to be this because we're referring to what we've already started here, this. So this does not need quotes around it. So this dot sortable. And what we're going to be doing here is running what's called serialize. And this is basically going to take the data being acquired from the sortable situation, this event, um, or widget, sorry, and spitting it out into a format that we can send through the URL, which is going to make sense here in just a second. So the property here in quotes will be serialize. Close that off. And then we can send this along with the uh, git. So we're going to do a comma and write order. And save that. Let's take a look at our page in Firefox here. We'll refresh the page. And let's just drag one of these down. Go to Ajax here and comment this out so we don't have that error. But uh, the, the important thing to note was that nothing was sent. Um, so what we're missing here is uh, go back over to navigation. We need to give these each one of these list items an ID. So similar to what we've done with deleting and uh, a few other things, we're going to give it uh, a prefix. So we're going to do ID equals, and we'll just call it list underscore, and then we'll spit out the ID number. So PHP echo list ID, close that, close the PHP, and I'll save that. Now let's refresh the page. And let's drag one of these. Huh. See, now we're getting some information here. Um, it's, it's done something interesting with our data. Um, I'm not sure why I'm getting these uh, weird array keys here. But anyway, so now you, now you see that we're getting some data. So next time I run this, so you see we've got, let's refresh actually, let's start this over. So since this is pretty fresh here, here's our ID numbers and that's what we're sending. So the order right now would be one, two, three. And if I drag one of these, we click on this, click on params. This is the data that's being sent. Now it's two, one, three, which makes sense. And now if I pull three all the way up to the top, on parameters. Now we have three, two, one. Okay, so that's how we know which IDs are coming through and in which order they're in. And so now we need to do something with that data.